good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are in the entire world, we welcome you to this, our series of webinars, Industry 4.0. The fourth industrial revolution, 4IR or Industry 4.0, is the ongoing automation of traditional manufacturing and industrial practices using modern smart technology large-scale machine-to-machine communication and the internet of things are all integrated for increased automation improved communication self-monitoring and production of smart machines that can analyze and diagnose issues without the need of human intervention the big question is how does industry 4.0 affect you and me. Today, Dr. Rohit Shipstone and I will be discussing this big question. In this short 20-minute discussion, we will be talking about how can we future proof ourselves? Are you asking yourself that question today as well? If so, just write, I am, in the chat box for us. The question is, are you wondering how can you future-proof ourselves for this industry 4.0? So the first question I'm positioning to Dr. Rohit, thank you so much for joining us here, is there are many articles that talk about industry 4.0 technology and manufacturing and the big changes which are coming. So logically, only people who work in the manufacturing or engineers, are they the only sectors that will be affected by these changes? Or are people on the business side safe? Is that correct? Uh, Safiya, uh, unfortunately, that is not entirely uh, correct. Uh, you see, uh, the way we interpret uh, Industry uh, 4.0 is that it is not technology which ushered in this fourth revolution. It is us humans. Our desires and wants have become complicated. We want personalized products, but with the benefits of mass production and therefore the pricing, we want instant gratification. We want what our neighbors have and better. All these wants have been necessitated, have necessitated the use of uh, technology or in some way, it enabled these latent desires to surface by making it possible. But the driver is economic. Having said that, let me also say that I feel industry 4.0 is more about business models. And being that, it affects each aspect of an organization, be it manufacturing, marketing, support, sales, uh, logistics, and so on. Let me give you an example. A very well-known clothes brand came out with a t-shirt that can measure your vitals uh, during gym or walking through or walking or through the day as you work uh, etc uh, and gives an output on your phone this shirt sells uh, for about 250 dollars a similar shirt with the same design and quality sells for 25 dollars a customer ask the sales person at the store, what is the difference? At this point, the salesperson has to be able to understand what that $250 t-shirt does and how it works, you know, to be able to justify its price. That salesperson is not technical, but now is called upon to explain technology. So while he or she may not know tech, but now they have to be familiar with it. The question is, what will humans do if machines do all the work? Firstly, machines will do all the transactional work. Therefore, work that entails emotion uh, based, let's say decision making or creative solution building or uh, any work that entails the use of our senses or innovation are things which uh, humans will do as machines uh, are not able to do all this. But this uh, work is something that does not come naturally to humans. They have to build their abilities and competencies 
to be able to do this and become superhumans or uh, premium humans lastly if any of you are interested to know more about industry 4.0 and how it affects uh, different industries just write i do in the chat box and we will send you the details so uh, that's what i think safia thank you so you mentioned we're going to be able we we need to further up skill we may need as you may mention to really kind of tap into our creativity our sense of innovation to become premium human how does one become that dr rohit how does one train or upskill to become a premium human <laughs> well maybe i think i um, overdid it a bit but uh, yeah i mean uh, when i say a premium human what i mean is that uh, a human being positioned above uh, artificial intelligence or robots etc uh, to become a premium human first uh, you got to know yourself know yourself in all honesty your strengths and weaknesses your abilities and traits etc then you build on your strengths and neutralize your weaknesses so that's and how you become where, a premium human yes and this is where a lot of critical evaluation and a place where one can indeed identify these strengths and weaknesses and how where we can actually strengthen our abilities is that what whiteboard lab does can you share a little bit more about whiteboard labs uh, well yes that's exactly what uh, whiteboard labs does uh, you go through a one hour employability audit at the start which is evaluated by a team of experts and who then recommend what you need to learn and what you need to build and how you can use your abilities in the new economy the employability audit is something i would recommend everybody takes the whiteboard lab helps persons transform themselves into as you shared this terminology premium human so i get that and i'm sure everyone who's joining us understand it is really the upskilling it's tapping into our potential so we're talking about personal transformation in my experience that's really a process in achieving personal transformation which is indeed personal sustainable changes and it really starts with having a very detailed vision as a step one you need to craft that vision for life and as you shared it's based on this employability audit that we one can better able to understand ourselves secondly i think it's where we tap into our knowledge base where we need to increase our knowledge base and in creating that vision for improving the world it's just the first step now you're going into needing to, to develop the wisdom and skill to make those dreams come true and this is where true learning begins this step as i'm sure you may recognize will require some courage it's going to take some time and humility to submit yourself to the rigors of self education to self leadership one may need to read a lot of books journals browse blog posts even dig through wikipedia learn a little more maybe watch a documentary or two the good news is that you can all do that at one place the whiteboard portal once you get started you'll discover that burning passion that drives one forward this is what i believe one always needs in terms of self development and self leadership in terms of developing this premium human am i correct dr rohit would you like to add anything else yes sir uh, thank you uh, another critical aspect of personal change or transformation is feedback so uh, we need to be open to feedback because it is uh, essential for our progress it's nature's way of letting us know when to turn and how fast to move and our mentors and trainers have deep experience in industry and business to be able to guide you and uh, help you learn so track your progress measure something tangible every course has a workshop with a mentor and a test you will be able to see your performance you will find a way to wrap your head around the process 
and next embrace the culture learning is a culture in itself once you gain knowledge of your chosen path and get a little experience uh, walking that road you might want to consider finding other warriors on a similar journey the world is an awfully big place and recently it's all been crammed into the space of your computer screen well there's good news yet again the whiteboard portal has thousands of students like you connect with them exchange experiences and learn from each other take advantage of this amazing resource to find like minded people share your vision or at least uh, your current step and don't be afraid to ask for help chances are you'll make some good friends and maybe even discover a mentor or two and then there is always robera she is your help at any time of the day any day the best part about getting involved in an uh, established culture is the positive reinforcement you receive Psycholog- uh, psychologists say that uh, we are the aggregate of the five people we spend the most time with as you change your peer group you'll also change your influences you essentially created your own environment and taken control of your personal evolution say hello to natural effortless personal transformation but how would you know you are uh, progressing so you need to track your progress now you're equipped with basic tools of self uh, self growth it's time to see the results break down your journey into milestones through the various testing and discussions and the processes not only will this help you focus on the next move but it will reward you with a constant sense of accomplishment we all know that progress equals excitement so make sure you create a plan that keeps you energized and motivated to uh, keep working so safia there you are uh, the process of the whiteboard uh, portal is designed to do all we have discussed and more my input will be for people to register and see for themselves registration is free so that everyone uh, may know how uh, it's going to be Dr. Rohit, with this kind of intervention, one can truly become a warrior of change, having transformed themselves, having upskilled, having prepared for Industry 4.0. You see, I believe the world is at our fingertips. The world is in your hands. And even through your training, that may span a few months, you are doing something real, doable, to achieve your dream. it isn't only about the accomplishment or glory it's also about the learning experience and enjoying every moment in a more fulfilling way no result or achievement can ever make up for a life wasted in work or worry so i'm and completely intrigued by the whiteboard labs process of becoming a premium human and upskilling because life is really a journey and it's important to choose a worthwhile destination and take those first steps and after that sit back relax enjoy the ride the best is yet to come but yeah let's make it count right yeah sure and uh, so that's what uh, whiteboard labs uh, does not to, to not only transform you but at the uh, end of the process help you with your uh, career as well they have recruiters and mentors who can uh, shape you up for interviews get you opportunities and make sure you communicate the best of you because you are the product but at the end of the day it's about you and uh, you have to do it alone we are here to help you not to place you With that we are at the end of our 20 uh, minutes talk uh, we hope we were able to show you a path towards transforming yourselves into premium humans those who would like to register may do so at the link given in the chat box uh, incidentally it's uh, uni.mywhiteboardlabs.com check it out registration and the employability audit are free and so many deals uh, which are there uh, and keep coming up And Safia for the ladies there's a free course on women in leadership it's free just for this year uh, in all i think there are about 
about uh, 10 free courses uh, free access to the knowledge base uh, mentors and so much more once you've done your employability audit and your recommended courses will be shared with you and later you can uh, book a time with our counselors who will be able to explain it to you in case you uh, need them to so thank you and goodbye for now we will see you next time if you have any questions in the chat box we will revert to you shortly good day good idea everyone